Hi everyone, my name is Simon Hurley and I'm a 14 year old card maker. I'm so glad you could be joining me for today's lesson. I'm going to be showing you how to get an ombre stamped effect like the one you can see on this card with a bunch of different colors inside your Misty. This is a really super fun and easy technique to get a bunch of coloring to your simple stamping and it's just a really awesome colorful technique. These soft colors can provide for sympathy cards or things like that, and this one is for somebody who lost their pet, and so that's what this sentiment is really awesome for. So let's dive right into the project. We're gonna start off by cutting our cardstock here, so I'm just gonna pull on the trimmer, and we're gonna cut it for a side folding card base. So I'm just going to put it in lengthwise, and then cut it to five and a half. And then I'm also going to create the panel that will go on top, which is just gonna leave a little white border around it. So we're going to cut it to four inches by five and one fourth. So it'll leave a little white border right around this. So we're gonna set this off to the side and then we're gonna score the piece as well for our card base. So pull on the scoring tool and then we're gonna score it for an A2 size card right at the A2 point. And you can do this without the bone folder or the scoring board, but this just makes it a little bit easier when you're creating your card and gives you a nice smooth effect. Once we do that, we can move on into our stamping and the technique for today. So I'm going to be using this stamp set by Paper Smooches, which is called Pause for a Cause. You're gonna to wanna to look for a stamp set with really nice solid images like these dogs today that I'm using because this will give you the best stamping and you'll be able to see the colors the most and that awesome ombre effect that we're creating. So we're gonna pull out our Misty stamping tool here. I love this tool and for today's technique, it's almost necessary that you have it because you won't be able to get the perfect stamping because we're going to realign it many times, but you can try using an acrylic block for this technique as well. It just might be a little bit harder to do. So we're gonna open this up and set our piece of cardstock panel right inside. And we're gonna start off by just lining up our stamps here. So I'm gonna pull all the different dogs we want to use on the card today. I'm gonna to use this one with its little tongue out. I think that's just awesome. And I'm also going to use the little wiener dog and the other little kind of wolf looking dog as well. And we're gonna create a little scene where they're looking at each other. And they all face some different directions. So this creates for a really awesome scene building stamp set. So I'm just lining it up here. They don't need to be perfect on the same levels because they can be standing wherever they want. But just try to get it as even as you guys can. So once you have all the images lined up, you can bring over the piece of plexiglass and this will be like your acrylic block, except in the Misty, you can stamp it over as many times as you need to and it'll be in the exact same spot. Just make sure your paper is nice and lined up right in that corner and then everything will stamp perfectly. So in the front here, we have an array of assorted different colors that I chose to create the ombre on this card. And most of these colors are in the same color family. And you'll notice that they really blend nicely together and kind of go together in the rainbow as well. So when you're choosing your colors, make sure they look good together and you can test out as much as you want with these colors because you can throw it away if it doesn't look good because it's just cardstock in the end. We're gonna start off by using this pink rose petal color and this will be the first color in our ombre. You're just gonna to wanna to start by inking up just a little portion of your stamp. And just make sure there's a lot of ink down onto that. And once you're done with that, you can bring in a stamp chamois or something to wipe it up like a little rag and just dab off the corner so it has a softer effect so that it can blend into the colors a little bit better. And then we're gonna to wanna to stamp this right down. Once you're done with that, you'll notice I accidentally got it on that dog. That's completely okay. We'll just kind of keep going. And you'll notice that in the ombre, you can definitely get colors over top of each other like that. And it'll work out just fine in the end because they're all blending either way. So I'm gonna do that one more time just so we have a nice solid effect. And then bring in the stamp chamois again and just wipe up the little excess that we have. And then stamp it down one more time. And there you go, we're starting to build up our ombre there and you're gonna to wanna to get the paper nice and saturated when you're doing your inking. So that's why I do it about two times. Next, we're moving in with this purple lilac lane color. And I'm kind of overlapping to the part where I did the pink as well. So those will blend really nicely together. 
and then pull in the chamois again and just kind of wipe off a little bit of the areas on both sides so that it blends really nicely together and you can stamp it right back down. And if you have any like swoosh marks in there or anything, those will go away later as we continue to stamp as well. So doing that one more time, just making sure you have the whole thing saturated and really well stamped. And then just stamp it down one more time. And there you go, it's starting to look really good right there and now we're moving on into our next colors. You'll also notice we're not really cleaning the stamps too much in between because we want them all to blend. So if there's still a little bit of color left on there, that's great. I'm using the sky blue color next to blend in with that purple. And also all these colors will soften in the end. So if it doesn't look perfect in the beginning, they're all going to blend in and smooth into the cardstock as well. So I'm just using the little stamp chamois again to wipe off some of the edges and the sides that might not have been soft enough and then just stamping it down again. Just keep repeating this process until all of the colors are finished and until you have the desired look. I also wanted to mention that some of the colors on the ink pads lids will look a little bit different in the actual ink pad. You can, it's really hard to make it look exactly like the color will turn out on the paper and all different papers are different too, so it might look different for you for all the different colors that you use. Just test them out before you go and it should work out perfectly. My last color is this French vanilla and we're just going to finish off the little area right there. And so I'm just inking up that little bit of the last stamp. And we can wipe a little bit of that off and stamp it down again. So it's a really repetitive technique. It's pretty simple, but it's a lot of fun to do. And um, it's really fun to blend all of your different ink colors together especially if you have really solid images like this. And you can even stamp it a third time if you don't think that it got all the way done or if you missed a little portion as well. Don't be afraid to just keep stamping it because the misty will just keep relining it in the exact same spot. And that's what's super nice about this tool. It's a little bit harder to do with acrylic blocks, but it is still definitely doable. So once this ombre background is complete, you could have lined up your sentiment right in the misty with that to make it a little bit easier, but I'm just going to stamp the sentiment right here and you can still blend the inks just like you did in the regular stamping. But if you line this up in your misty, it will, since it's such a small font, since it's stamped so many times, the ink duck could bleed out of it. So you just wanna do this separately. So this part is going to be blue and then it's going to fade right into that purple color over there. So I'm starting off with that sky blue color and I'm going to kind of roll it onto the stamp there. I'm going on the other side with the lilac lane purple and this shouldn't affect your colors too much and it won't really get into the other ink pads as long as you're not using a really dark color to a light color. So then I'm just going to line it up and stamp it right down onto the card. And there's your sentiment for the card as well. So now to adhere this to the card base, I want it to be raised up a little bit so we have some dimension here. So I'm just gonna take some of this foam tape and I'm just going to unroll it. And we're gonna help use this, stick it to the card base. So I'm just gonna pull off little pieces and adhere it here and there to make it stand up off of the card and that you get a little bit of raised dimension that way. This just adds something to make your card stand out a little bit more, and since we have such a simple technique, it really stands out. And I'm just adding some to the middle as well to make that stand up. And we're gonna peel all that off so we can add it onto our card base. And we're using a side folding card once again that we've oriented um, top folding like this, so we'll have it lengthwise. And then I'm just going to add it right down onto my card and make sure that it's nice and centered. If you mess up right in the beginning, you can always pull it off. Just don't stick it down too much. And then we have our card. Once that's finished, just to add one last final touch, we're going to bring the Wink of Stella in. 
This is a shimmer brush pen, so it's like a paintbrush on the tip of it, except it just gives off shimmer onto your cards. So you can just run this over top of the dogs and you'll get a bunch of shimmer on them and this just adds a little bit of a fun embellished effect to the dogs. Usually I'm afraid to add glitter to cards because once you open a jar it definitely gets everywhere but with this little Wink of Stella brush pen it only gets in the specific areas and once it dries it's on there and it won't come off on your hands. So just add a thin layer over all the little dogs and it won't affect your inking as well. I definitely love dogs. I have two at home. They're super playful and I know a lot of you guys are dog lovers at home too. So this set is really awesome for that. Thank you so much for joining me for this technique today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It looks a lot more difficult than it actually is to sand follow these down and the misty and the inks definitely make it a lot easier. This card is pretty darn simple, but with the Wink of Stella as well in there, it definitely adds lots of shimmer and shine to finish off the whole entire card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon for another class at scrapboard.com.